What's going on guys? Vic Baby back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, somebody sent me their Wii that was collecting dust in a drawer. Now they have over 1800 games. The full Wii ROM set along with the GameCube collection. Round and round it goes. Oh, Ghost Squad. Let's check it out. Alright guys, you're not joking, follow me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Switch It Up On Ya. Vic underscore VP. It's up here this time. You're just down here? No, I got it up here. Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP on all the socials. What are you waiting for? You'll see everything, my daily life and all that. Be sure to also follow on TikTok. Any stories from Instagram, go right to TikTok. So if you didn't miss out on that day, you will most likely see it also on TikTok. So be sure to follow me and then also be sure to subscribe. Subscribing. I don't know if liking helps, but yeah, just subscribe and like the video. Just thank you. That helps. <laughs> Enough of that, you know my social plugin. Uh, so check it out. I am purposely holding down the button. Look at the wheel. Watch it go around and around as it goes. Yes, it is kind of crazy. Um, I have two Wii videos. Really, it's one short um and a full video comparing the wii versus the wii u and which one you should mod and to my shocking surprise it is probably maybe the top probably the top one or two maybe one two or three most viewed most commented videos on my channel um something that i kind of had uh, that a, a friend of mine george you know he gave me his wii he gave me a whole bunch of things you could go back on the video the amount of views on that video, I think it's over 30 to 35,000 views. Um, that's just mind boggling numbers to me. Um, I can let go of this <laughs> so you don't see the wheel keep going. But yes, one of my most viewed videos is talking about the Wii and also on the short. The short is just me showing off this and it's only a one minute thing, but there's so much attention that it got on it. Um, there's so much to discuss really about the Wii. The Wii is awesome. I never really had a Wii. Me personally growing up, I did not have a Wii. I was a Nintendo kid, but I never had a Wii. Uh, basically after the GameCube and ironically enough, cleaning out my uh, parents like basement and room, I grabbed my original GameCube. After the GameCube, it was basically moving on to PlayStation. I had a PS3, so I never had a Wii, um, but like I said, because of George, I was able to take my, I was able to experience the Wii. Now again, if you didn't watch the video, basically a buddy of mine, George, I used to mod his A1-Ups and I've sold him a bar top and also a touchscreen PC. Um, he's one of the OG guys that like locally, uh, he's about, you know, an hour away, but uh, locally he's the one that kind of gave me the opportunity and really like a stepping stone. So he gave me the opportunity to mod his stuff and we became best great friends. He messaged me, he was getting rid of a bunch of stuff that his kids had. And again, just go see that video because you could just see the stuff he gave me that he was going to throw away. And I was like, dude, don't ever throw away like gaming stuff. Just hit me up or give it to somebody else, but don't ever throw it away. You'll see the whole arsenal of like controllers and systems. He did give me a Wii and there was also a Wii U. Uh, growing up, honestly, my wife actually, when we first originally met, she actually gifted me a Wii U. Uh, what a wife. She gifted me a Wii U, and she also got me the Switch. And ironically, I modded both of those. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. Basically, when I modded the Wii, I then discovered you could modify the Wii U, and we're here today. So basically, some people watch that videos, and then I get to hit up, and I get honestly a lot of DMs saying, "Hey, Vic, man, how did you do it? Can you help me out?" Honestly, you could do like a Google. It's, it's what's the wording I want to say for this? Um, Probably the most painstaking thing with modding the Wii and the Wii U is the ROM. It's not just the ROMs, like downloading the ROMs, obviously, but also the folder structure. The Wii needs, like, it, you need to put the ROMs in a specific way, especially for, like, the GameCube. They have to just be put in in a specific way. That's the only thing I can really say. Uh, but I have done it. This is probably maybe my, I don't know, I've done quite a few of these Wii mods. And like I said, you can always DM me and I can fill you in on what gets done. But all in all, it is a solid thing. 
not to mention the Wii, like on Mar if you look on like Facebook Marketplace, the Wii is like, people are just giving them away. I think I saw one locally, it was just the Wii though for like 25 bucks. Uh, granted, you get nothing with it. Uh, for me, luckily though, the TV I have this connected to, it does have composite. Yeah, it has composite connection. So I do have the red, green, blue, red, white. It's a five wire connection. I have never done like the the composite to HDMI. Um, that's probably the only thing with the Wii. You will need like the composite. You can always get the converter. I haven't experienced that, but it is what it is. The most unique thing though about the Wii is that it does have the four actual GameCube controller ports and the ports for a GameCube memory card. Now you might be saying, Vic, I don't understand, how are you, this is mine. My personal one, super clean, this is, jo I should say it's George's. Um, this is mine, I keep it in the drawer. Uh, but this one here is the one that the customer gave me. A little beat up, a little scratched up, but nobody really cares about the casing. Uh, but all in all, we got everything set up. So as far as the Wii, what this consists of is that I am using two, two terabyte external drives. Um, the big thing with these drives, they had to be configured a certain way, again, what I mentioned before with the file formatting, but this also needs to be in a FAT32 format for the Wii to read it. Um, I have right now two two terabyte drives. So many people commented on my video and was like, you don't need, uh, you could use like a 10 terabyte drive or a six terabyte. I've had bad luck with that. I don't know why the PC, I have to do it on the PC and when I do format FAT32 on a drive, more than two terabytes. So like the next one up would be like a four or five terabyte. I usually get an error. Uh, so the biggest thing I always do is these two terabyte drives. Um, there's a lot going on in it. There's so many people like, can you just give me the drive? I'm like, it doesn't work that way. You need to do stuff to the actual physical Wii. Then you have to also put stuff on the SD card in the Wii. So it's not just this, there's also an SD card involved and all that. There's just, it's a process. Um, but basically I have one drive that is strictly just the Wii games. That's what I have right now. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but this says right now I have open 0.72 gigs. So not even one gig open or available. Uh, and this has 1103 Wii games. This drive right here specifically has Wii games from number up to the letter W. It's really like the first four games in W. In this specific drive, because this one is like the main one, it has like Mario and all that, uh, I do have like the Wii Sports Resort on this one. This drive, and I'll swap it out live on camera so you can see the process and all that. This drive, I have the entire GameCube collection and the remaining Wii, so W to Z for the Wii. Um, but all in all, it's it's an awesome mod. Again, you have basically the entire thing, artwork and all. From my experience, I don't have like the guitars and all that, but if you did have the Wii controllers and you wanna play Guitar Hero, it should work. There should be no issue. These read as regular Wii games, so it's pretty cool. I have like the sensor bar kinda of too close to me. So excuse me while I try to play with my Wiimote. Uh, but again, it's it's awesome. Right now, yes, you have to navigate through 1,103 games. There's really no, I mean, there's a magnifying glass you could search, uh, but as you can see, I let the wheel go. I, don't, I could shake the mouse and I could kind of see like the letter here or the game. So I'm right now under C, I can see D. Uh, but here, let's just say, for example, we'll do this dirt. So dirt two, I can press A. It's even got like a nice little, either a video or stuff like that. It's in the background. So let's go to Dirt 2 and we'll press start. And again, it loads it up like a regular Wii game. You use your controls. If you have the nunchuck, you could use the nunchuck. Uh, Mario Kart, if you have the steering wheel, it's just obviously your controller uh, sensor. But all in all, everything does work. You basically could press the home button when you're done playing. Depending on it, like right now, this is like the loading screen. I can't press the home button, so I have to let it go through. Again, it treats it like a real Wii game because it is a real Wii game essentially. But as you can see, I have to create some save data so I can press two to confirm. This game auto saves and awesome, done, in. Now again, this is a actual Wii game. So you treat this like a regular Wii. So if you were done playing, you press the home button and you go back to the Wii menu. This right here is utilizing an app called USB Loader GX. So it's really convenient is actually when you go into the Wii menu, it actually brings you back to the USB loader. Just 
little details, it's more convenient. Uh, but again, it's gonna bring it right back. So as you can see, for this drive here with the Wii, it loads up fairly quickly. Um, I'm gonna right now switch live on camera to the other drive, which is the GameCube and the remaining Wii games. When you do do that though, you do actually wanna go back to the actual Wii menu. So in this USB loader, you have the Wii button here. So you gotta be sure you wanna press the Wii. And you want to actually go back to the real Wii menu. Uh, don't unplug the drive in USB loader because it might cause chaos. But right now, that's the actual Wii menu. I'm swapping out my drives. Again, what's really great with this, and that's what's great with the Wii versus the Wii U, it just needs one USB cable. The, the normal cable that comes with the actual hard drive. I'm right now going to go back into USB loader. This drive here, because of the GameCube games, it takes a little bit longer to load. Not drastic, it's probably just a couple extra seconds. But yeah, as far as the Wii U, the Wii U, you actually need a special cable, which is two USBs to the drive. Apparently the Wii U USB drive is not powerful enough to power on this USB, or I should say the, the drive. But as far as the Wii, you gotta be sure that you're plugging in on the bottom of the actual Wii USB. In the rear of the, of the Wii, if it's normally flat, there's two USB ports. You gotta make sure that the USB is plugged in on the bottom USB. But as you can see right now, we have the GameCube. So it's pretty cool, artwork and all. I'm right now just gonna go back, just to kind of show you, because when it goes to the W to Z, it mixes the GameCube and the Wii because it's in alphabetical order. So it's pretty cool. Again, we're just gonna fly across we're at A, now we're at Z. So for example, you can see here, like it goes from Wii to GameCube to Wii. That's because of the alphabetical order. Look at all the wrestling games here. Um, wow, look at that. Day of Reckoning, I had a GameCube. I believe the Day of Reckoning was the last game um, on the GameCube as far as wrestling wise. Now the big thing with this, you do need a GameCube controller. If I start this and I don't have a GameCube controller, I am kind of lost in the sauce. This no longer works. What you basically have to do now is you just gotta power off manually here. Uh, again, the actual Wiimote, the power, I don't think the power button is readable, but we might as well launch Day of Reckoning, why not? And again, it is a GameCube game. It takes some, not some time. I hate when I say that because it sounds like it takes an eternity. Uh, but it takes time to load up a GameCube game. It uses some app called Nintendon't, uh, and then essentially it will launch. Again, you do need a GameCube controller. Uh, on my personal one, as you can see there, on my personal one, I do have uh, WaveBirds, so wireless does work, or worst case, you get the wired ones, but the best thing is that this does have the actual four cords, uh, four ports for the GameCube. Again, right now with this, I can't do anything. I'm lost in the sauce. Can I power off? I don't even think I can. Because as you can see, like the Wii, it doesn't really even connect. It should just be one light and I can't do anything now, I'm kind of lost. So again, easiest thing is just come up to it, you hit the power button, give it a second or two, you're gonna see my TV say no signal, and then I will just power back on, and it will bring me back into the main Wii menu. Uh, all in all, amazing stuff. For something that's been inside of the drawer, now it's a gaming beast. So it's kind of crazy with the Wii, you can't really remove like their basic, um, like they have these like random channels, but I basically just moved it over. So all you have to really worry about is the USB loader and then you also have the homebrew channel. But all in all, easy peasy. Another great thing that went from collecting dust to now playing 1800 games. <laughs> Big VP, game case, arcades. Wee! Get it? Wee. <laughs>